Thanks for staying with us. So another day, another drama on the streets of social media. So uh, her vendor has called out the former Big Brother Niger winner Josephine Otabo, popularly known as Fina, for allegedly refusing to return a rented wig after the expiration of the rental period. She alleged that Fina rented the wig for a movie premiere on Sunday, December 10th, uh, through a hairstylist and was supposed to have returned it the next day but haven't done so. You can join the conversation and call us on 0812705 or 0913907648. So, the big that happened was that a hairstylist rented a wig uh, on behalf of Fina for the movie premiere. And the wig was past the date of return. And instead of this hairstylist or instead of this hair vendor to reach out to the person who directly rented the wig on behalf of somebody else she went straight to the blogs and she mentioned fina's name asking her to return her wig this has sparked up conversations online even uh, another lady who calls herself a relationship expert had jumped on it and talked but well, before we explore that what do you think about the story i got something for somebody and instead of you to call out me that came to get it you went straight to the somebody that i got it on behalf of probably because she's a celebrity what do you think about this well there's something called news relevance mm. it's it's uh, a feature of what makes a story newsworthy so it's called relevance so i understand where the vendor is coming out from if the if she had called the stylist it wouldn't have been newsworthy whoa but because she put fina fina is big big you know she's she's a big no. yeah she's known she's famous and she's been very controversial and it's very easy for blogs to quickly pick up you know that story to say okay fina has done another one again she, she has she has had a lot of bad press mm. in the last how many months which i think uh, her pr uh, management should try and start, uh, how do I, polishing, because there's been a lot of bad press, and this is exactly what this vendor has jumped on. And of hey. course, it has made it to, to, the, to the... But isn't that malicious? It called, it's not malicious. It's, eh? it, it, you do, we, do not have, we do not have the real story. She has probably been trying to reach the stylist to return the wig, and, the and maybe and the stylist hasn't answering. and the stylist has not returned the wig. We have a lot of um, stories or um, situations where the producers, that's the people who are assigned the roles of putting everybody together, the money you're supposed to pay the talents. Mm -hmm. You you then hear the story of a talent calling out a movie director mm -hmm. or the executive director that I was not paid for this, I was not paid mm -hmm. for that. And then the executive director is wondering, but. We gave the whole budget to the producer. Mm. So what happened? Why did you not get paid? So it is the integrity of the stylist that we should be questioning. Sometimes when you are desperate, you just have to use all measures to get the attention mm. that you want. If you had called out the stylist, maybe the stylist is just an upcoming, the blogs will just look at Nobody it and say that there's no relevance mm. to this story. And you, if you notice a trend with blogs, they usually add a name maybe if they want to take a story about someone they will not add the name of the famous person maybe uh, to, blow the, uh, to blow the story davido's ex-girlfriend <laughs> meanwhile the person has a name but if you don't put that davido or put the whiskey or something it will not gain that attention and it, it is it is part of mass communication relevance yeah. what makes this thing newsworthy and that is what i think this lady has adopted in oh, getting the attention. I agree with you, of, right? And I, I like the, the way you came with this angle because initially mm -hmm. I don't defy the go. I wouldn't <laughs> have seen it from this area. But mm -hmm. I think it's quite malicious because you now end up in a bid to get that uh, attraction or traction to, you know, yourself and your blog or whatever. You now taint the image of somebody else. And it happened to me personally. I'll come to you. It happened to me personally where somebody went to go and be crazy on an airplane, we're wow. not consigned me. Mm. And then because his name was, is the same with my first name, the blogs now heard his name, put him as my husband, hey, picked my picture from TVC, 
and paired us together and now say, and the wife works in TVC. Mm -hmm. So what is my business with what the husband, even if he was my husband, exactly. he went mm -hmm. to go and do something. Why are you attaching me to what he has done? Why don't you face him? But because of that traction that they wanted at the time, they now, oh, there's an Obiajulu in TVC, and they paired us together, and it, and it was not funny. Oh, wow. I was getting calls. Some people said, oh, this person does not, he's not your husband. We know your husband now. He doesn't look like, your husband is a gentleman. He cannot do that. <laughs> it was, was, initially, I took it. But when I now started seeing news, calls, I was like, ah, no, 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 these people. I, 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 I saw that, I saw that you edition remember? of your view when you showed them for me. You said, I will sue you. Yeah. <laughs> did, did he eventually sue them? So, so how do we, in a bid to mm. uh, get traction, mm. not hurt innocent people? How do we do that? But before we answer that question, write it down so we don't forget. <laughs> Let me come to your initial thoughts. Wow. So, for the stylist, when she was going out to rent the air, why did she um, reveal the name mm. of her client? So, sometimes, if you're doing business with somebody, you don't have to say, I'm building a house for mm -hmm. so, 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 and so person because what you want to gain traction, right? And in that case, I think that it is important to understand clients' confidentiality in mm. doing business yes, such yes. that because the person you're doing business with is, is a known name, you don't have to go all out spilling names and dropping names because mm. you want to appear some kind of way, right? And the next thing I was going to mention is that... Um, it's okay sometimes to rent things, you know, these are things that a lot of people do to at least augment their lifestyle. Some people go out in a certain kind of car and they rent that car for, for that day because maybe they're, they're having a business uh, meeting and they want to appear in a certain kind of way. Mm -hmm. So I do not fault the fact that this was rented, but the problem I always have is when you borrow something or lend somebody something, mm -hmm. The, the issue most times is not about the person collecting it. Now to return now. Mm. the problem. Did you get? Mm. Now you go, they call the person now. Mm. Where is this thing, right? And I think that is important for, to communicate every time. Mm -hmm. When you, you are delaying in delivering something that yeah. you borrowed or rented mm. out, or maybe you had, had an agreement with people, I think it's just an integrity issue. Yeah. Yeah. Such that if integrity? somebody um, gives you something or borrows you something, Return it when you say you would. And if you can't, I know situations happen, things happen. Yeah. Communicate. Communication. Mm -hmm. You see, it is important to understand that hmm, most times the way we respond or the way we, we, we keep our words go a long way in maintaining relationships. Absolutely. So return what it is that you have as at when you. Um, and I think that as business owners, because, you know, one of the things I learned or I thought about in this um, story is that yeah. what, what is the lesson to learn from me? I think that putting structures in our businesses is important. Mm. So if there was a fine for late delivery, put it there, right? Rather than coming out on social media. Because if you say, if you don't return it between now and X, Y, Z, you pay extra 500K, you will look at that 500K and just keep quiet. Mm -hmm. As against going and... You know, you're just making noise. So I think that when we put structures in our businesses, people would follow through on the processes that we have put in place by ourselves. Oh, yes, yeah. that's it. I like, I like Brilliant. that uh, angle mm. yeah, that you came with. Confidentiality is very important. Uh, you have, and that's why celebrities don't go directly by themselves. Yes. Nothing stopping you from going, calling up the vendor to say, my name is so-so and so mm -hmm. person. I'd like to rent this, you know, because they, they want to hide their identity. So you're not going there looking and pointing at the, the wig, that wig that girl is yeah. wearing. She, she rented it or she borrowed it from me. But with the, way, with the way social media is structured, if you are going to borrow something from a vendor, you better declare what you want to use it for. Mm. And most of these stylists do not pay the vendors. They pay them with visibility. Mm. If you give us this, we'll tag you. Look at the celebrity that wants to wear your product. We'll talk about we'll you. We'll talk about you. Me. We'll tag you. Yeah, brand, so, brand so right. yes, yeah, so the vendor looks at the bragging rights and says, okay, fine, take it at no fee. But I totally understand what you said about structure. You should always put structure in place. Even if 
you are exchanging services, even if it is a trade by butter, you still have to ensure that anybody who comes to your business follows due process mm -hmm. so that they will not uh, break your rules and then send you, you know, haywire. There might be a reason why the stylist hasn't returned it. Maybe she, that's the vendor, also defaulted on her part. She probably did not deliver the wig on time or they, it made, she made them go there late and all of that. There might be some internal issues that might have caused the stylist to also she withhold. Yeah, well, she has communicated, exactly. like Toby said. What if, exactly. what if she communicated and the, and you know, it's the vendor, she... and you know the vendor, are you, sure, you know it is the vendor that is uh, shouting yeah. to say that Fina come and return, but she hasn't told us the kule kule of the, the background <laughs> of the matter. To do with that. Mm. It is the person that collects If she does not call Fina's yeah, name, why would we be discussing yeah, the yeah, matter yeah, today? It's for that it's traction. For that traction. Now, um, how would you handle it? Why I, I'm asking this question is, um, so when Fina came to do live videos to, you know, talk about what was happening, uh, she was trying to explain and she was feigning ignorance of the whole situation. I don't know what is happening. I don't know. Somebody just is lying on me, is cooking up a story on my head, blah, 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 blah. And, and the other lady, the blessing, called Fina out on that, saying that this is not how you explain this sort of issue. If you are saying you did not rent any wig or you did not borrow any wig and that the wig you wore is your own, mm -hmm. in your video to explain, you should wear that same wig or pick it up and show them, this is my wig. Why are they calling my name? Right? She claims that she wore her own wig yeah. instead. No, she, oh. she, she didn't explain the wig in question, but she said okay. she doesn't know what is happening. Okay. She feels people are lying, trying to just give her bad press, lying mm -hmm. on her, mm -hmm. cooking up stories on her head. She's not aware, she doesn't know this person, and she has a lot of wigs, that she has wigs, okay, you, wigs. Know, okay. you know, and all of that. And the blessing lady is saying, if you really have wigs and you are saying that you did not wear this one or you did not rent this one, you should so hold your it. Collection. Don't even show out your collection. You should hold this particular one because we know the color that mm -hmm. we're talking about. And tell us, ah, this is my wig now. What are they saying? I, you know. Mm -hmm. So I'm asking now. Um, I, if I was Fina, I would have handled it differently. But before I come to what I would have done, I would like to know if you happen to find because we are blowing. Oh. <laughs> Mega stars, darling. And very soon, maybe mm -hmm. the wigs we have now will not be enough. <laughs> We will not start renting to keep up appearances. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I will not rent for you. So we rent, we rent from you now. To keep up appearances. Mm -hmm. If it happens, mm -hmm. or it may not be this exact situation, but if it happens to you, how would you have handled it? Even if you wanted to come out to maybe make a video to clear your name, how would you have handled it? As a celebrity, it is very important that you have a publicist, mm. someone who handles your PR handles any negative press. It's not everything that you come out to address by yourself. You begin to lose value when everybody sees you every time addressing this. You're always... It is, yeah, it, it is content. Instagram will pay for that. Well, I don't think Instagram pays for... But then it depends on the kind of brand that you're trying to build. If you're trying to build a controversial brand that, you know, thrives on controversy and all of the drama, yes, by all means. But if you are trying to build a, a conservative brand targeting the HNIs, mm. because you have to know who you are targeting. If you are targeting the wait Bobo now, Bobo. if you are targeting Bobuero, yeah, okay. maybe so Bobo. Bobo. If, you, if you are targeting uh, Bobuero, Bobo, you know the people at the you lower bottom. You do the Bobuero way, but you do not expect a a, a high fly, maybe a conservative brand to now come and associate their brand with you because you do not align with their values. values. So it depends on what you are trying to achieve. So for me, when I become a celebrity, because as far as I'm concerned now, <laughs> I'm still Oyeda Mula. I would have just told my publicist to you know, put out a letter. This is what happened. I do not know. I have not interacted with this person directly, but my stylist must have hired this um, hair from this person would ensure that the hair is returned or see to what actually ha happened mm. or transpired. You know, it's not everything that you have to fight mm. about. And it's not everything. But because Fina feels that she is um, hated, you know, oh. she says it a lot, that she's wow. not liked, yeah, that people don't like her, this, this, that, that, that. You know, maybe she, so she, she feels triggered easily that, oh, 
they have come again. Yeah, oh. They, they want to come, come and spoil my name. Oh. Let me quickly um, address this and shut it down. And you can't really blame her. You know, upbringing and um, societal, or should I say, yeah, society, yeah, societal experiences, the family she grew up in, all of these determine how you react as an individual. So she, I think she still needs a lot of polishing, you know, mm. in addressing all of these she issues. She needs that publicist as fast as possible. Very, yeah, Toby, very key. Come to you. How would you have handled it? Because so, you are building a conservative brand, right? <laughs> <laughs> Ask you for a friend. <laughs> okay, so um, how, would I, how would I have handled it? I probably would have kept quiet and handled it privately. Okay. Because as we know, social media, after one or two days, they drag you, they drag your leg, drag your mother's mm. leg, drag your grandfather's they leg. Move up. And, and some, <laughs> something else will come up and then they'll forget about you. Yeah. So most times, um, it's not always about reacting or responding in the immediate, let it go. Mm -hmm. And truly, she no say, that wig no be our own. Mm -hmm. You are in possession of something that you it's actually not, no. didn't pay for. So even if somebody is calling you out, you're supposed to clarify at the back. What if she has forgotten? Do you know how many shows these people go to? Appearances. This you, you, event was recent. Well, just last week ten. now. The, the next day she already That's attended cool. another December premiere. Ten. She has gone to show up here. Wow. You think she would be keeping a uh, track, track record of all these oh, ones? You she, might not, she might not really when, know when how. She's renting, uh, she knows how. Exactly. She, she just so hides. That's why the stylist the same, is there. That the is, you pay the situation. stylist to handle all of that headache for you. It's, it is not her responsibility to be checking. It, are you to not be supposed to be returning to this? It is not her responsibility. Okay, she has darling, paid somebody darling, to do darling. it. Oh, Let's it is not her. Call. I'm coming yes. back to you. Okay. <laughs> it's a celebrity lifestyle. <laughs> Good morning, James. Oh, oh sorry. We please lost call us back. Yes. You were finishing your this, thoughts. This, this Oye's point of view... <laughs> we don't understand it this morning. ...is just creating an excuse for improper behaviour. Yeah. Ah! Oh, so, yeah. Oh, oh, okay, not, okay, no, okay. Oh, oh, is this, no, 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 no. Oh, go yeah. ahead, go no, ahead, go ahead. It's not, proceed, proceed, proceed. I no guess problem. my rest. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, on. such that you borrowed something from somebody mm -hmm. and you are still saying it is... Not, when you they wear them, are you mm -hmm. saying that it is not your responsibility? Mm -hmm. You are forgotten. You forgot it. forget How like you forget that, that kind of your thing? Own. It is not your own. Mm. Let's stop giving excuses for, for bad, bad behavior. behavior. I agree what is with you bad on that. is bad. Mm. It is right? not excuse for bad behavior. I'm saying that she has paid someone to do the thinking for her. She may not her. have paid, like you also said. No, no she, must, she, like she, no, she must have hired. Okay, maybe she's not paid. I don't know how they're paying. Maybe publicity. in kind or with publicity <laughs> or with visibility. <laughs> but she has hired someone to do that thinking mm -hmm. for her. You do not expect her to carry all of those things in her head mm. right now. Because she has a lot of things, she has a lot of activities. Why do people um, hire personal assistants? To help because them manage their events. Exactly, all these little things here and there. You, when, uh, do you think a bank MD is worrying about how much food is in the car or how much, uh, who is buying dinner, who is oh, buying yes. lunch? Different. These are this little things. Yeah, but this, this this so she, so really she might not really have known how the stylist came about the look. I am going for this premiere. This is what I want to look like. Get it done. I'll come back. So it's not her responsibility. You your look, so I should be. I should be following her up to go and see if she has returned it. Oh, sorry, John sorry. from Ogudu. Good morning, John. Good morning. <laughs> ah, something is wrong with the phone. With the line. And mm -hmm. another thing is that she may have been just delaying. You know how it is when someone wants to collect something from you, mm -hmm. but because you're not available, you're like, okay, tomorrow, okay, next tomorrow, mm -hmm. and I may not have given the person time mm -hmm. to actually come and pick up the things you're being paid for. Mm -hmm. So even there are times where you've been paid for something, but the person that paid you is injuring the process of your workflow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The person is the one... Affects you yes, too. affecting. So mm -hmm. there are instances like that. I, am, I, am, I totally agree with you in terms of having integrity. When you borrow something, yeah. you return it. But my point is that has paid someone to do this thing. handle that. So it is not her responsibility to not be ensuring, have you returned this? Have you returned this? She has paid this person. Well, that is what she paid it's this person to do. Let me pause you there. That's why we have issues in government where you assign people to do the job and you go mm -hmm. sit down exactly. and expect that they will do the job. Human mm -hmm. beings are human beings. I mm -hmm. constantly have to supervise follow that yes. follow-up just to ask, okay, have you... Have you done this? Have you checked this? It should also be in your diary as well because now you are dealing with a lot more people. And as you expand... That's why she, that's why she has a manager. Expand, no, leave
with that thing. She tell you she has a manager. She's a celebrity. You cannot you cannot reach her directly. You she has a management. Let me tell you how I would have handled it. Tell us. So when I saw her video, right, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, she sounded so guilty. All mm. those, I don't know, I don't know. Mm. She sounded, you can read in between the lines. She sounded so guilty. Mm -hmm. And I would like that uh, for next time, own it with your chest. You did not steal. You had an event. You felt you needed to rent something. We rented it. Uh, they called us out. Oh, I'm so sorry. It was a mistake. They were supposed to have sorted it. They will sort it now. Simple. Everybody go and rest. It's not a crime to rent. It's not a crime to borrow. But you must do it with your chest. What I didn't like was, uh, I don't know what they are saying. They are lying on me. Uh, you don't need it, Auntie. And you Everybody exactly. at some point she would could rent. Have, she could have I forgotten. Remember, it. Oh, no, be coming down. I remember when we were doing uh, beauty pageants back mm -hmm. in the day. Uh, who give us money to take bike clothes? Who dash us? Mm -hmm. We will rent. There mm -hmm. were designers that were ready to mm -hmm. give us, yeah, make outfits. Or the only mm -hmm. outfit I paid for was to Monami when I did MBGN. That was oh. the only outfit I paid did for. Did MBGN? Yes, yes, I did. No. <laughs> MBGN. <laughs> I made it to the top ten. Oh! <laughs> I was actually supposed to make good. it to the top five, but I flustered in answering my oh. questions. I was a, a bit panicky here yeah, at So mm. um, we, we would rent. Um, Modella was there. You know, Franco Shodi was mm -hmm. there. We we're going for beauty pageant. Like, you see all of us, we queue. You know, they'll take our they make dresses for us. We rent it. We go there. We look amazing. Mm on the stage and everything. When we come back the next day, everybody's rushing to so your supplier. Go and give the fashion designer there. So we rent. We understand mm. showbiz. These things happen. And you can always it's buy. It's not only, uh, everybody that would have as numerous hairs as I do because I use all my money to buy hair because <laughs> I like hair. So I would have, I would not need to rent hair. Mm. But I may need some of those corsetti outfits tomorrow and I don't want to sew. I don't want to spend money. She can own it with her chest. I don't want to, I don't have money to be spending on. Do you know how many events we go for mm -hmm. on a weekly basis? Yeah. I can't use all my money mm -hmm. to buy hairs. So I rented and it was an oversight. It was supposed to be returned, but something, something happened. They would return it. Everybody would shut up. Ha. People would appreciate. No, listen now. Okay. People would, people like me that like authenticity Children would appreciate Livu. You have, we have different tribes on social mm -hmm. media. There are people who still like the truth. Yeah. There are people who still like people that are authentic. Mm -hmm. People like me who appreciate that she owned it with her chest. It was a mistake. We're going to return it. Exactly. And why are they even calling me? I'm, did I come mm -hmm. to you directly? Mm -hmm. The hairstylist is attending to you. Simple. And we move on. But when you now come through the sidelines and you're denying, people are like, ah, so this is the lifestyle all of you are living here. She could have just woken up. She looked sleepy in that video. She could have just woken up and then saw the tag. I and don't she understand. Was, and she was like, ah, ah, hair. Let's from where?